let's, let's uh, stay on the topic of elections for a minute and the political stability. Tarun, you were just in India. We had, we had advertised that we would have uh, Baka Dutt, a prominent Indian journalist here today, and she just told us two days ago that she would not make it because of problems with the coalition government, and some of them relating to the nuclear deal with the United States. Um, talk to us about the, 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 the political environment today. She actually thought there was a prospect the government could fall. You said this morning you don't think so. But, but how do you explain the political stability in India uh, when you look at other countries with, uh, you know, in, in its territory? I think very, very, probably easier for them, you know, standing outside India to explain that. But uh, it's a coalition government, all right? Many parties have come together to form the government. Um, it's been like that since 1996, really. Uh, till 1996, it was essentially the Congress party which ruled India. Um, these coalition governments have their own stresses and strains. This present coalition government have got the communists in support of it from outside. They're not in the government, but they, the numbers are added in parliament, so they have the majority. The communists are against the deal, the nuclear deal. Now, it's not a nuclear deal with the US. It's a nuclear deal with the world for India. We are negotiating to get into the nuclear room. The, the civil, US- The civil nuclear room. The civil nuclear deal. The US is a major player in this and is leading the whole initiative and President Bush has been uh, very proactive in, in making this happen. The communists do not want this deal. They don't, they, they, they hate America, all right? They hate America. T t They're tell pathological. The tell the audience you know? how significant the Communist Party is in China today, in, in, in India. In today. India, they, ro they run two states, uh, Bengal on the east, where Mother Teresa lived and served, um, and Kerala in the south, which is known as God's own country because it's so beautiful, and many of you may have been there. Um, they are declining in power in both these states. They are very worried about their future power base here. But their leadership in Delhi is pathologically committed to anything anti-American. Now this government is not anti-American. This government has engaged the US, has built closer relations across many things, agriculture, education, science and technology, business, you name it, we are doing stuff with America. And, uh, and the bilateral relationship has never been better. All right? On the nuclear deal, the government is committed to going ahead with it. It will go ahead with it. And today, we have an announcement from another political party, which was not supporting this government, that they will support the nuclear deal, and they will support the government. So it has the numbers. There's no question of an election. And there's no question of instability. 